This year's Nobel Prize for Medicine has been awarded for genetic research on human evolution. Swedish scientist Svante Pabel is known for sequencing the genome of the Neanderthal. That's an extinct species closely related to us modern humans. He also discovered the Denisova, that's another extinct human species. He showed that both contributed genes that still exist in modern humans today. So let's hear what the Swedish Academy had to say. By providing genome sequences from our closest extinct relatives, Svante Pebo has provided a novel, much more recent reference point for studies of who we are and where we came from. Thanks to his seminal discoveries, genetic variants that are shared among all now living humans, but absent in Neanderthals and Denisovans, have been identified. And I'm now joined by DW senior science correspondent Derek Williams. Derek, um, let's uh, break this down for us. Does this uh, Nobel Prize for Svante Pebble come as a surprise? Well, they always come as a surprise. I mean, I've been trying to predict these for over well over a decade now. And, and there is no sh long list or short list, there right? There is no long list, there's no short list. You have to just guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are ways of guessing. You can kind of say, for example, in, in, in medicine or physiology, there are, they kind of tend to alternate between between uh, research that's fundamental research into physiology, for example, uh, last year it was given for for certain cells that cells that that transmit stimuli to the brain, um, and and also um, then they'll flip it the next year sometimes, and they'll and they'll do something that, that has a major impact on on healthcare. Um, but this has really kind of come out of left field because it's really biology. It's really, it's a field called evolutionary anthropology, and it's I think probably taken a lot of people by surprise. I mean, the, the, as I said, the one thing that's really predictable about the Nobel Prizes is that they're unpredictable. Now, uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the science behind. What, what does he do? Well, the, the science really, the, the research is basically based on, on a, a modern field of research, genomic sequencing. So, so we only finished sequencing modern human genomes really a couple of decades ago. So we know what we're made of in terms of DNA. But the idea, Pavo's idea was to do the same thing for these extinct lineages of other human lineages, like Neanderthals or the Denisovans, as we, as we just heard. And to compare those, then that, by doing that, that's a much more difficult thing to do because that DNA is out of, coming out of fossils that's been around for a sometimes a couple hundred thousand years. It's been contaminated over the years. It's degraded, it's disintegrated. And he came up with methods for basically putting it back together. So we have an idea of what those gene, that genetic sequence looked like. And that then in turn has allowed us then to compare our own genomes to those genomes. And um, it's, he's kind of the founder in a way of a field that's now called paleogenomics. And, and at a press conference for the award, a member of the Academy explained what kind of an impact that's had in how we define ourselves. So listen. Svante Pebo's groundbreaking discoveries allow us to address one of the most fundamental questions of all. What makes us unique? Like us, Neanderthals had big brains, they lived in groups and they used tools, but these changed very little during hundreds of thousands of years until the Neanderthals, for unclear reasons, disappeared. Homo sapiens, on the other hand, rapidly developed complex cultures, figurative art and advanced innovations. They crossed open waters and they spread to all parts of our planet. The basis for this dramatic development must lie in genetic changes that occurred after we separated from Neanderthals and Denisovans not so long ago. Well, not so long ago is pretty relative, actually. Mm. In evolutionary terms, we're talking about something that happened hundreds of thousands of years ago. But in evolutionary terms, that's not so long ago. Okay, so but what, what kind of an impact did, does his work have on us today? Well, unlike other Nobel Prizes, I think it's, 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 it's really interesting because this isn't, for a, this isn't about a new treatment. It's not a new treatment that was developed because of this work or, or a new product that was developed because of this work. This is really kind of, in scientific terms, it's really more mind-bending. It's about who we are. It's about human beings and comparing us to our 
distant relatives that, that, that died out and went extinct. And, and why did that happen? And, and some of the answers to some of those questions are going to lie in our genes. And if so if we can read and co can compare those genes, then our genetic sequences with those of, of species which have died out, it's gonna teach us a lot more about Homo sapiens sapiens, mm -hmm. us, and why we were successful and why maybe they weren't, why they fell by the wayside. So it's really, in, in a way, kind of answering really some of the biggest mm. questions. Well, maybe it'll help us to avoid falling by the wayside as well. Thank you very much, Derek Williams, DW Science Senior Correspondent. Thank you.